Rotating our installations featuring long ribbons of metal are just a glimpse of what you might see at the Upstate Gallery on Main. Take a closer look and you can see the permanent collection of original artwork by pop art icon Andy Warhol. The photography we have includes um, black and white prints, eight, eight and a half by 11, which are a lot of what we call vernacular prints, sort of everyday, uh, because Warhol carried cameras with him, particularly in his later life. The Warhol collection dates back to the 80s. This Polaroid of women's shoes might look familiar. The motif was later made into commercial rugs. Just an everyday snapshot of life through the eyes of Andy Warhol. I'm Pamela Graham. Come see us at the Upstate Gallery on Main, celebrating 50 years at the University of South Carolina Upstate. That's right. You just heard from this panel that USC Upstate continues to celebrate its 50th anniversary. And as part of the celebration, we are featuring programs and people who are making a difference at the university. Here is something that you may not know. Tucked away in downtown Spartanburg, you saw a little piece of it right there. Right on the corner of East Main is the Upstate Gallery on Main. It is free open to the public. It also houses a permanent collection of Andy Warhol photographs and it's one of only a few art galleries in the nation with a permanent Andy Warhol collection. So cool, that's right down the street from us. So today we welcome USC Upstate art professor Miss Jane Nodine, who is also the director of the Upstate Gallery on Main and USC student Ludovic Daw. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you for, for having us. us. Well, I mean, how cool is that? I don't think a lot of people realize how you know accessible we are to see some amazing works of art. That's true. And we have five large prints of Warhols mm -hmm. along with the photographs free, open to the public. This is our community connection from the university to the community, and it also mm -hmm. gives our students an opportunity to get credit and do internships there. In fact, Ludovic works for the gallery. He's been getting credit and he gets paid. We have students who come downtown. We're open. We also are open for events, so people can actually rent the space if they want to have a reception, if they want to have an event. So it's really our connection. Uh, how did you get the Warhol stuff? We were one of a number of schools across the nation. This is the uh, Warhol Photographic Legacy Project, and they actually were giving off parts of his estate. And we were invited to participate. We qualified, and this was uh, about 2008, and then we got the pieces. Those were the original photographs, 150 of those. And then after that, a couple of years ago, we got the large print. So now we keep those rotating throughout the campus and also at the downtown gallery because we want people to come in and see them. We also have contemporary artists and people from the region, also outside the region, come because we want them to have an opportunity to see it. Jane, you teach, though. You're a professor yes. out on the campus. Yes, I am. I teach in the art department. I'm also assistant chair of Fine Arts and Communication mm -hmm. Studies. And I've been director of the gallery since 1995. We started with one gallery on the university campus, the Curtis Harley Gallery. We now have Focus Gallery, which is also on campus. We have an out outdoor permanent collection of sculpture, and we now have the downtown gallery. So we have three galleries that we sponsor at the University of South Carolina Upstate. That is so cool. Ludovic, I want to hear from you. Why did you, one, choose mm -hmm. USC Upstate, and how has it helped you in the field of art? Well. The first part was my family, we're all living in Spartanburg at the moment and Upstate was the ideal school because it's not too big right. and that way uh, you can really build a relationship with your professors like no, that she was one of my professors and we built that relationship and she told me about the galleries and I really like what they were doing so I got into that and now I'm uh, working for the gallery. I got a studio actually through the gallery and it's helping me with my work. And, and just, you're still in college and have a studio? That's yes. so wow. cool. Yeah, I'd love to see uh, y'all's work. Next oh, time, bring yeah. I, uh, I'm sorry. Little Big has a piece. Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. one of my pieces right there, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, what year fantastic. are you out there? I'm a junior. be graduating next year. I mean, help people to understand like, this is not something that every other place has. Exactly. I mean, this is something that, you know, I, I feel like sometimes because we're so used to having so many cool things in this area, we just kind of take it for granted, but it's not like this everywhere else. No, it's not. In fact, many schools and my colleagues at other universities have told me how jealous they are that we're able to have this location downtown. We were very fortunate. We had support for the, from the administration to be able to do this mm -hmm. because I can't do these things on my of own. Course, it's huh? all a team effort, and I have to have support from the university and my art department. They've been wonderful. 
Well, don't you, yeah. uh, you said you rent out the space downtown, but yes. don't you also invite uh, local high schools, their students, to bring in artwork sometimes? We do, and right now we actually have our students are showing their graphic design work right. downtown, which is great because our students are working as internships in the region. We'd love to have businesses come by and see what they're doing. If they need a, an intern, come and work either for paid or sometimes uh, just for credit then they can get in touch with me. I'll be glad to set them up. But yes, we do. We encourage the high schools to come in because we want those students to consider us as the sure. university and where they will attend. see that what they're going to be doing is leading exactly. to the real world and Exactly. It is only April. Uh, yeah, That's right. still time to register for fall semester. Yes, it is. Good, yeah. good, good time, in fact, to it do is. it right now. USCUpstate.edu is where you can go to get more information and learn all about our department. Go by and, and check y'all out. Take advantage of all the cool things that we have. Please do. Okay. All right, little bit. We'll be looking for your artwork all over now. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be super famous. Yeah, we, Jeffrey went there. Oh, did he? Our oldest son went there. It's a great go. place. A lot of majors. Yeah. Uh, our question, you guys think about it too, spouses, what, what do you, would you like uh, your spouse to do more of or mm -hmm. get off the sofa and actually contribute to, <laughs> to the family? <laughs> Uh, be they men or women? That's the question. We'll uh, read your answers in a minute.